Hello everyone! Exactly two months ago, I brought a review to the channel of the RG503 from Embernic. It's a portable handheld with an OLED screen. And on that review, I showed that it uses the exact same screen as the PlayStation Vita. And how the screen could be easily replaced in case you break it or it stops working. And guess what happened? My screen died. As you can see, the console is working, but I have no image. And the condition of the cable is just fine. There are no signs of damage to the cable anywhere. The console still works, but I have no idea of what caused the malfunction. I even tried disconnecting the cable and connecting it again. So I reached out for Embernic and they offered me a new replacement unit. But the console was working perfectly, so instead of sending me a new unit, I asked them to send me a replacement screen and I would make a video tutorial showing how easy it is to change the screen in this handheld. And then the screen arrived. You can see that they took extra care with the packaging. Let's start by disassembling the console. Unscrew the four screws in the back. Then use a prying tool to open the back cover. Once open, disconnect the battery. On the main board, detach the cable for the LCD and the analog sticks. Then you'll have to remove these screws here. Here's a picture for you to see all of the correct screw holes. Before pulling the motherboard, don't forget to detach the antennas. Use the prying tool to lift the motherboard and pull it on this direction. And detach the speakers so you can remove the motherboard safely.
With the motherboard out, remove these four screws holding the screen in place. Remove these plastic piece. And then the screen pops right off. Unpeel the stickers on the new screen. And this part shouldn't be peeled, because it is present on the old screen. Drop the new screen. Unpeel the front sticker. And now reassemble the console. When connecting the cable again, don't bend it too hard to avoid damaging it. Instead of bending it in a 90 degree angle, Try to shape it like an S, and don't worry if the cable won't sit down flush with the board. The battery will hold it in place when you close the console. And after reassembling the console, you're basically done. Let's turn on the console to test it and... Oops, this doesn't sound very good. I couldn't believe that I broke the console. I was very careful with the installation. So what could have gone wrong? Well, you should not panic, because after some research, I found out that the RG503 won't even boot if you don't have the SD cards installed. So I checked out mine and yeah, I had forgotten to install the SD cards back. And after reinstalling it, it is finally alive again. And look, the screen is working perfectly. I tested the buttons and analog sticks to make sure that they were working fine. And yeah, everything is working correctly. So indeed, the RG503 is a console very easy to make repairs, if you ever need to. And that's all for this video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.